Although brilliant, Ruben was quite insane. A compromise of ethics on our part. He seemed motivated, obsessed with revenge against something never specified. We discovered what he was doing in secret. Torturing. Pension for traps. A serial killer masquerading around as a scientist. His demeanor has turned far too aggressive and his techniques even more perverse. Da Vinci would dissect corpses to further his anatomical studies, but what Rubin has done goes beyond demanding his subjects be aware as he dissects them to truly see how the mind reacts. He's more of a butcher than an artist. But we must remain scientists above all. I had taught him from a young age that the end shall justify the means, but I could not have predicted things to be this extreme. Mobius has learned of his involvement due to my carelessness. I've asked they bring him on board to assist in development. Perhaps offering him better facilities and support will refocus him and stave off his gruesome proclivities. This machine was designed for me. People like you, you took my life away, turned me into an abomination. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. I can live the life I was supposed to have. We are forgiving. We are willing to overlook your certain peculiarities for what you can provide us. But you are testing our limits, our manpower, our resources are not here for your pathetic fantasy. You will reverse the calibration on the machine so we can use it without you. And what if I say no? You think he menace can fix this? <laughs> you need me, and there's no way around it. Ruvik. No. Ruben. This was where he was doing his research with us. We were just using him. And I doubt he's the first. Surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister. His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Reuben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seem sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? There's only one way to find out for certain but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know, lest they take this from me as well. <laughs> 